Hi everyone. This week I am in charge of do the word of the week for spread love not fear. Uh, for this week's challenge, uh, we talk about uh, icebreaker. Before to engage in a conversation with any stranger that you never known before, then what well, the good thing is know how to start breaking ice, right? And then how to pay attention and how to approach the people in a way that people can be more receptive and people uh, would. Would likely to engage with uh, the conversation. So the two things that I was want to talk to you guys about today is one part is about spirituality, and second part is practicality. Uh, spirituality is show how you have to prepare uh, yourself before approaching people, engage a conversation with people, and second, a practicality is component is to show you how to do it. Right? Okay. So first, I'm going to talk about spiritual component. Right. So when you approach other people, majority of us don't like it at all, right? So there are only three possibility that that could happen. First is you respect others' space and time, so you don't want to approach them. Second is you're self-conscious, right? You feel awkward and you didn't want to um, make you feel uncomfortable. Or the third possibility is combination of all of both. The only three of those. And I would think, I was thinking is, well, all of those is basically, it's all about fear. That you fear uh, to engage with people, that you fear to invade their space, and you fear to feel being awkward, and you fear both for both. Scripture is saying that, well, there are the way for us to overcome fear. And the Bible is in John, 1 John, uh, chapter 4 and 13 to 19 is saying this let's kind of copy from the wedding and attends last weekend this is how we know that we live in him and he is in us he has given us up his spirit and we have seen and testified that the father has sent his son to be the savior of the world if anyone acknowledged that jesus is the son of god god live in them and they in god we know and rely on the love of love God had for us. God is love. Whoever live in love live in God, and God is in them. This how we know how this is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In the world that we are like Jesus, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drive out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment, and the one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because God first loved us. Right? So the only way for us to start a conversation, people or approach people is is uh, that we come to start with attitude, uh, to praying um, for the people, and pray for your heart. Um, also remind yourself how much God loves you and God's perfect love casts out all fear. People will be more receptive and if they know that your heart is genuine and you truly love for them. Right? And second part, that's first, I was talking about how to overcome the fear. First remember, is because God loves us first. Therefore, we are go out there and love our people by sharing the gospel. Right? Second part is the practicality of component. Uh, Imagine wherever you do, um, I can't think of wide range of age and life stage. Uh, either you're in school, you're in working, you are a student, you are professional. Um, any stage in life, you, you can go to different places. I can think it's a few handful places, but pretty much the setting is, is about the same, right? So the practicality is, I just have some uh, scenario, situation show this picture here that you might encounter either to the airport um, you see a couple of people lay, sitting around and do nothing or you see a coffee shop here that you know people just sitting around and just read and drink coffee and do their own thing or even at the bar that people just mingle and sit and talk at the bar uh, another picture here is to show music festival it's where people all sit around basically just talk and socialize. So, um, all those uh, tourist area, you can see people walking around, and um, they 
if they just enjoy the town. Or best of all, is the campus where people lay on the lawn and sit and walk around the campus. So all these situation here is um, people they just sit around for a little while. They're not going any going anywhere anytime soon. So that's a, would be perfect place for you actually to, to approach them and start sharing the gospel. Right? Uh, you can start with anything literally. It, it's just small talk to start with like, you know, you can name it. Let's talk about weather, talk about COVID, how crazy it is, the job, kid, where they go in the travel, um, the hobby, what the tattoo look like, their jewelry, their clothing, um, their life experience, whatever that you can start with. And just start with a small talk, right? A small conversation. And you can get to know the person for who they are. And after a while, and you know, you kind of warm up, you kind of gauge where they are, where they at in life and who they are. You can transition to a spiritual question, a spiritual conversation. Like you can start with question is, hey, uh, can I ask you an interesting question? 100% of the time that nobody say no, you cannot. They say, oh yeah, of course, you know, just ask anything. Do you believe God exists? Or uh, you can ask, oh, hey, do, do you uh, believe in God, right? So those are transitional questions from small talk into spiritual conversation. Now, one thing that I can only remind is uh, for you guys is always, again, always prepare your heart. Always come with with attitude is to love the people, the one, the good news, share the good news for them. Uh, otherwise, I get burned a couple of times. Is I'm just going there to gung-ho, right? I want to show up my knowledge part of it. I still want to share the gospel to them, but then I, I went in without praying, without being loving for the people. I get burned a few times. Um, people, even though they don't say it out loud, but they know the vibe and they know the attitude and the tone of conversation. So uh, the best of all is you got to prepare your heart, come in with loving, care and genuine, the one to share the good news of what God has done in your life to them. Then most of the time they're going to be very receptive so guys do what you can be out there and share god love to other people thank you